Hey guys, welcome to Tammy Time. Um, I am going to show you how I remove my box braids or plates, right? Whatever box braids. I'm going to show you how I remove them safely and stuff. So basically, you need a wide tooth comb, you need some scissors, and that's about it. This is my box braids. They're done. I got them done September 23rd. Today is November the 16th. Um, about two months old. I did, we did the front the 25th of October. So this is newer and a different size. But these are the, how much my hair has grown out. Since I got it done, got an inch. Okay, first thing I like to do when I'm taking down my box sprays, I cut them. And you gotta be careful where you cut them, obviously, you don't want your hair. My hair is about shoulder length. Well, it's about right here, like on my neck, almost like scraping shoulder length. So we're gonna cut it about right here. My front is not gonna. I like my coffee with two sugars in it. Maybe just gonna come up. Maybe go ahead and put all them up because I want to see what it looks like short. Basically, that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to come back. <clears throat> Went to the store real quick to buy another pair of scissors, because these are hair shears, but they suck. Hopefully, oh my god, these are worse. That much of the cut. I wish I could just chop it off with like a with chopping boards. After you do all that, cut it all off. That's what it looks like. Anyway, so we got that. Then we're gonna start the unbraiding process. See? Tuned. Alright, here comes a crucial part of this. Basically, I unbraid it like regular. I get a little tangle right here. I'm starting to hit where my hair is. I can feel it, and I know my hair is like that long. Actually, can I see it yet? No, I can't see it yet. I don't think I hit it. It's coming though. There you go. Oh. Oh. There. That's all my hair. She ain't put all the sticks. She ain't put all the bands here. And this one. That's good. Once we do this, you can use a little oil on your fingertips. And like detangle it. I scratch my scalp a little bit because it's itchy. And clearly it's dry. Be relaxer so I put too much product on it. But I just detangle it slightly with my hand. <coughs> my coconut oil would be frozen right now. You can get a little coconut oil on your fingertips like that. That's too much. And just 
moisturize my clips. And that's good because I'm getting my waxer tomorrow. So it needs to be protected and stuff. I like the way that smells. So basically, I'm just going to keep on braiding them. And after I get a bunch, I'm going to twist them together. I'll show you when I get there. As to be expected, your hair is, my hair has been braided for like two months. It's going to shed a bit. So now I'm grabbing all this hair. Left out. And I am putting a little coconut butter oil. Special lens and working my way up and then parting it, get my new finger through it, get all the hairs. Now I'm gonna come out of this, get it all up. I'm gonna part this in two and then twist it, I'm not even braid it or anything. It looks so crazy now. So I'm basically taking off the rubber bands. So what I do is I I don't like keep moving it. It's ridiculous. I like grab something. It happens to be a paper clip for these. So I can get into the rubber band. Like so. Okay. Pull the hair through. Put my finger in here. And take my little scissors, cut, and it will stick off. So I can see there's build up here. What I do is I separate it like this, and I just slightly detangle it. And I kind of rub out the build up. And then for this one, oh no, not here. That's all. <laughs> 